Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode was the very, very, very long one because I didn't want to cut it up because it didn't feel right because I feel like as soon as I entered the abattoir, I feel like that experience from beginning to end just needed to be preserved as one whole thing. So yeah, last episode we went to the abattoir. Now everything sucks and a bunch of people I care about have died. Three of them, to be exact, Laura and both Stamaton brothers. And I lost a day. A bunch of people are infected. It's 1.15 a.m. on day 10. So we came up out of the well into young Vlad's place, found out that young Vlad is actually the one who locked the termitary, and their dad is just kind of taking the fall for them. Vlad is, or young Vlad rather, is very adamant that they be the one who face the kin, which means they're probably going to die, maybe? Probably. I would kill them <laughs> if I was the kin. They definitely deserve it, but I want the older Vlad to go. As much as I hate young Vlad for what they've done, the older Vlad is more of a piece of shit. Young Vlad will actually do something to make things better. They'll actually, I like, I actually believe that they will atone for what they've done. I don't think the older Vlad would do it. <sighs> this is a performance. I'm just, hmm. Stat wise, I'm doing good on pretty much everything. Well, except for thirst. But I kind of discount thirst because it seems like it doesn't actually go up more than like this amount. Thirst doesn't seem to be something that will kill you, just something that will make it harder for you to do things. Uh, but exhaustion is the only one I really have to worry about right now. It's pretty high. So I should sleep soon. And I think something even said, uh, I think it's somewhere in here. It said that some answers only come in dreams. So it sounds like I should sleep for no other reason than to dream. But, you know, I'd like to visit the dead item shop. Uh, I want to visit the performance in the theater. And then, I mean, who knows if all this stuff is going to be still an opportunity to available to me after this day fully begins at 7.30. So I'm going to put off sleeping, try to get coffee, and do what I can. Also, I forgot to read the suspicious note. I got this before I even went into the abattoir. This came from the person that attacked me on site, the person that the kids said were possibly my murderer. Isidore's murderer, that is. Now, of course, we know the kin did it, so... As if I wasn't already very, very sure before, that person definitely didn't do it. Found your thief. You'll come to Friday's yard. Wait for him there. Just hit him first. He's a nutso. 450. Hit him first. So that will be paid 450 to hit me, it sounds like. It's uh, the handwriting is childish. So some kid put out a hit on me? That's hilarious. That's just that's hilariously fucked up. I guess I'll take a picture of this. <laughs> I'm just gonna drop that. Why keep it? I was looking for a murderer. He expected a thief. So we've met. What the hell? Mm hmm? He expected a thief. The person who got the message. The person who tried to kill me. So we've met? We I'm sorry, we have met? What do you mean? I don't really entirely understand that. Anyway, let's go. Oh, now it's actually marked here. Notkin? What do I do first? I think I need to go home, gather my thoughts, and like, brew some stuff, <laughs> and get my dead items and whatnot. So, let's go to the soul and a halves, and then back home. Oh god. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. I just walked off that thing. I, I don't know what fall, like how bad fall damage is. Whew. Didn't hurt me. I need bottles to brew things. Um. Hmm. You know what? Let's just go speak with Vlad. I mean, look, they're like right here. Instead of turning right, I just go left. Just a tiny bit and they're right there. And now I have the Menhu's Finger, which is an extremely good weapon. And also great for doing surgeries. <gasps> good water? Yes! Oh, it's empty! I don't think that's ever happened before. Aside from at my home. I just ran out of water. We need to talk, Vlad. Uh, uh, I've heard of this love thing, all right. Never seen it though. Don't worry, you'll never know love. That's all right, that's all right. We'll take it all back. Our feet are firmly planted. Even if it all comes crumbling down, even if every single one of them dies, we'll rebuild it. They're trying to convince themselves that everything's going to be okay. Your son is going to the termitary. What for? To confess. He was the one who locked up the termitary. You didn't even know, did you? The whelp. The idiotic whelp. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, we already knew that they knew, right? Because young Vlad said that their father took the fall for it. So you did? That whelp is too cocky thinking he's responsible for anything. Too eager to take my place. No, it's a bit too early for him to get in my way. I am the master. This is my business. I will bear the consequences. So what's your plan? I'm sending people to seize that whelp and get him over here. Let him wallow in his conscience here. Guilty. Pfft. Responsible my ass. Don't you think you should go there instead? Oh, I will. I've no plan to tremble at the sight of them. They will cower with their tails between their legs. I am the power, I am the authority, and they know it. If you go to them now, you'll do it as a master. But if you linger, your role will change. Big Vlad considers himself responsible for everything. Seems he loves his son more than he shows. He will replace young Vlad before the kin. Good. So, being marked on the map, does that mean if I go there, they will then appear? Like, does that mean I should go to the termitary? Probably. Especially, like, even if they weren't doing anything, I should go there just to speak with Tai Cheek after everything that I saw in the abattoir, right? Okay. Wait. Bad grief is infected? Why are they listed as here, though? I thought they didn't live here anymore. I thought they were over here, which is why this... Mark is marked there, now that I dealt with the Barley the Barber business. Where are they?
Lara. The Stamatons. God damn it. Just kind of curious if I go to Grief's place, is Grief going to be there again? Is anybody going to be there? Anything going to be there? Or is it going to be as I left it with some bodies? Nothing. Yeah, just completely deserted. See if there's water in here. Ah, damn it. So, Nakin, what do you know about this, buddy? Hey, did Nakin get reinfected? They did, didn't they? Yeah, fuck. Sorry, buddy. So, did you catch your murderer? Your man of black? What lies have you fed to him? Are you mad? Who was it? A murderer? Who did he kill? Baron from the Skinners, that's certain. He hunted us with a knife afterwards, because we'd seen him. For real. Perhaps he did your old man in too. What do you think? I see. Look, I don't mind killing them for the sake of your safety, but don't lie to me. That was an ugly and dirty thing to do. You should have just asked me directly. And, like you'd do anything to help us, you've got a ton on your plate already. I might have. Anyway, that was a good game, but we don't want to play with you anymore. Why the hell? Ah. We took you in and you were greedy. We told you there were rules and you haven't written a single note. You didn't play fair, yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't, like, could I have written a note? I don't know if I could have written a note, but the greedy thing, yeah, that's, like, just by accident, just because I took out of the caches sometimes, not, like, not remembering that Every single cache is part of the game. So, whoops. So I'm the guilty one? Come on. The hell was that? Who was that? You had nothing to do with anything. These children. Well, that turned out to be a whole lot of nothing. What does it mean that I'm out of the game? Like, what does that really mean? It's not like I ever got anything out of the game anyway. Oh man, that infection map is getting expensive. Um... I probably should get it. I have so much stuff to trade away. Um, I'm not sure what to trade exactly. Painkillers are worth quite a bit, but they're worth quite a bit to me too. These knives, I guess, are kind of meh. Now that I have men whose finger, I don't really need them. Needles are always good, so I want these two. All of that, plus one of these. Yeah, alright. Saves me a lot of room, too. 
And now, I know a lot of people that are in danger. Oh my god, look at how much is infected. It's like half the town. Jesus. Also, I thought I heard like a writing sound. Did something change on the map? Thimbles. Uh, I don't want to trade those really. But they do have amazing deals for fingernails. I'll trade a thimble for a fingernail. But I'll leave it at that. Unfortunately, I don't have enough water or time to really brew a bunch of stuff, but I don't know. Is there even a point in going home right now? How much dead items do I actually have stored away? Like, probably not that much. Let's do it. Ooh, my exhaustion's almost reached max. I haven't found any coffee yet. I guess I'll brew as much as I can. Like, I should have some tinctures on me. How much water? Two... Ooh. Three waters. Bountiful day. A wet day. Alright, what am I doing? There's no sense in carrying around organs with me. These lockpicks are taking up a lot of space and I don't need them, but I'm sure I could find people to trade with for them. Actually, could I? I think the soldiers have taken over the roles of those people that I would see all the time, the kind of guards with mustaches that would trade lockpicks for toast and whatnot. Hmm. I'll, I'll put away a couple. Take some dead items. Um, let's see if I can do any repairing of anything. Nope. Fuck. I almost have all the stuff I need to upgrade my inventory. This late in the game, though, doesn't matter. I mean, I guess. I just need to buy one of these, but now that I have like 9,000 coin, I suppose it's not that bad. Of course, I'm wearing this. I realize that. But I could buy another one. I have the money. Good thing to keep in mind. Is that really all I have for, like, fixing stuff? Yeah. Huh. Let's have one of these smoked meats. Mm, looks like I could eat the other one, too. Very salty. Alright, let's see what I can brew. Yeah, I have no special things at all. The... Uh, how many waters do I have? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll make two of each. I should probably leave me one water myself, so I don't get super, super thirsty. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just... I'll just make whatever. Two of that, sure. Two of that. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Should I get these? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. The living blood. Uh, I probably just mix that with a tincture? Right? Brew time four hours, yeah. 
That's going to be important. I should get as many of those going as I can. Yeah. Okay. Put these squishy things back in here. Uh, the herbs too. Get in there, organ. Anything else? I don't think so. I'm going to keep this stuff like Thimble on me and Red Thread because it only takes up one inventory space and I'd like to be able to repair on the road. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I'd like to take the chisels with me so I'd be able to repair... Uh, well, actually, I don't need to repair Men Who's Finger. It's max durability. I used it up when I was inside the abattoir, but now it's okay. Should I sleep for an hour just so I can dream? No. Should I go over here right now while I'm near? Probably should, right? God, I can't take any of these boats though, because they're all in an infected place. They won't they won't move anywhere. So like if I do this over here, it's gonna take forever to get all the way over here and then the dead item shop and <clears> Hmm. <throat> I I think the termitary thing is gonna last. I don't think that's something that's just gonna go away. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that. first. Yeah. Do I want to hit up any place along the way? What do I want to buy? I want to buy safety pins if I can. I want to buy that uh, cloth fixing box thing to upgrade my inventory, so clothes stores. There's a clothes store. There's a clothes store. Let's go for this clothes store. It's also the shady shop. They only sell food here though, right? I don't eat food. Uh, I have five coupons for buying food from a normal store. I need a coffee person. Hmm, I could have tried to buy that from the shady shop. They might, they actually probably sell coffee. It's starting to take damage. It's going to hurt me pretty fast. I wonder if there's still going to be uh, bad people patrolling the streets all the time now that the soldiers are here. Hmm. the water I already drank, right? Yeah. Oh, yep, there's still bad people out here. Calm down. Nope, you calm down. Holy shit. That's a lot of stuff. 
wonder if they get into their inventory the stuff they loot from the person they just killed. Is that why they had so much? Smoked meat? Sweet. I mean, savory, but, you know. Clothes store. I'm surprised they're still at it now that Barley the Barber's dead. I guess the whole world is Krispy Kreme to them. Yes, sewing box. 1200 at this point with the amount of money I have? That's nothing. Boots. Oh, those are good quality boots, too. Army cloak. Can I get a description that's not off the screen, please? Okay, well, uh, that's got to be an even upgraded version of a repellent cloak, I imagine. I mean, that'd be good. Then I could keep the repellent cloak for upgrading my inventory. The repellent cloak is almost completely wrecked anyway, but it seems to still be good as a crafting ingredient. The only problem is cloaks are huge. I think they're like three by three. I can't fit this. All right, well. What did I click? I, oh, I already have that selected. Yeah. That in the boots. I can make some room with a pocket watch. That's worth a lot. Am I going to have room for this box? I think it's two by two. Uh, yeah, it'll drop it, but I, I can make room. Don't need red thread. I mean, what the hell? Let's buy more. It's pretty cheap. Let's make some room. It's nice to have money. Do these people trade? Nope. If it's not a special herb, I'm not going to bother to pick it up. I should drink. I still haven't found coffee. Oh, this has changed. That's the rat prophet over there. Has it grown? Oh boy, has it. Do you know how one can tell a simple mole from a malignant mel melanoma? It's symmetry. Natural processes are symmetrical. An arm on the left, an arm on the right. Each action bears a symmetrical reaction, but illness is twisted. It grows to the side. The heart is on the side, too. The left side. It's a myth, actually. The heart is located almost directly in the center of your chest. Some doctor you are. Is that true? Oh, wow. I just looked up a picture of where all the organs are in the human body. Yeah, it's almost, almost smack dab in the center. Uh-huh. I believe that myth. I thought it was to the side. I'm a decent doctor. That's pathetic. <laughs> this tumor is malignant. I can see that. Yes, that's not very symmetrical. Now, let me go die of exhaustion as I watch a play. I'm afraid of General Block. Hero of the people. Genius. I've never worked with such material. I feel helpless. What do you say to that? What can I say? I said everything yesterday. It's strange to hear I thought you were supposed to be the genius. You're joking. I'm more of a machine. 
This is an unsolvable town, outside my capabilities. It's outside everyone's capabilities. But I thought that's exactly what Inquisitors were for. Listen, I have very little time left. If I can't solve the town, I'll be ampulled. They threw me here on purpose. Victory is impossible. I get what you mean by ampulled, but how do you solve a town? To solve is to see things through, as Inquisition does. You know? By any means necessary. Well, we have the panacea. As for the general... Cheer up. We'll see how things go. We need to run. We need to flee this town. They'll be ampuled. I don't care if Aglaia dies. I hope they die. They're a monster. Oh, hey, the dead item shop is just right up here. Want a riddle? A local kid told me. Uh, sure. Surprise me. Whenever it's used, it's for a short stay. Whoever buys it, gives it away. Whoever needs it, doesn't yet know. Faced with it, you'll never say no. Hmm. The only two answers here are poison and coffin. Aside from just like, you know, I don't know. Poison. Poison used for a short stay. Uh -huh. Whoever buys it gives it away. Poison? Whoever needs it doesn't yet know. Faced with it, you'll never say no. That's a coffin. Correct. A coffin. Coffin, huh? It's a coffin. The army's in town, haven't you seen? So we'll now need twice as many coffins. You're not a coffin maker, though. Even though you ride one. Eh. A couple of rags and boots. That's all those troops are good for. They drop like flies with no artistry. To hell with them. Another riddle? Go ahead. Whoever likes it can't take it away. Whatever you do, it's forever to stay. What is it? Hmm, time. Like it, can't take it away. Can't take away time, sure. Whatever you do, it's forever to stay. Time. Yeah, I suppose. Opinion. Whoever likes it can't take it away forever. To no, but that's not a word. Can't take the word away. It's forever to stay. Time. Wrong. This one has no correct answer. Anything can be taken away. Oh. <laughs> really? Oh my god, they even sell Schmouter. Let's see what I can do. Let's just like give away everything basically. Scrap name, I guess. Bloody bandage, heck yeah. Oh my God, I love that number being so big. Okay, rotten food officially sucks. It takes up a lot of room and it's worth less than even a bandage. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I want to trade. 71. The schmouter sounds good, but I'm about to brew a whole bunch of cures, I think. So maybe I'll pass it up. Antibiotics are always good. Food is always good. Hmm. Basically, I either get antibiotics and a good amount of food, or I get schmouter and just like almost nothing else, I think. 
Or maybe Schmouter plus like one thing, maybe the fish. Hmm. I shouldn't undervalue Schmouter just because I'm brewing a bunch of cures. I don't have unlimited cures and a lot of people just got infected. And I have voucher tickets for food. Plus I have some food on me. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get the Schmouter. Schmouter plus some antibiotics plus the ring to sell. Yeah. Yeah. Six, seven, I got about two and a half hours. I want to go talk to Bad Grief down here. Hmm. All right, fuck, Lara's dead. I can have a nap here. I can still sleep here even though Lara's dead? Oh, Jesus. That would be so sad, but... I'm going to go to the grocery store because I want coffee. Maybe I'll sleep for like an hour, actually. Um, Let's go to the grocery store. And then I'll go to Lara's place. If for nothing else to save, but maybe to sleep for like an hour. I think I have time to do that and go to bad grief. Ooh, we got a fight going on over here. an enemy right there. Oh, there's a the grocery store. Chasing me. Have fun with that. There's a guard there with a gun. Although they don't seem to use them. They just seem to try to bash him rather than shoot him. Maybe it's, you know, it's kind of late at night. You don't want to wake people up shooting people. Army ration. Coffee. Wow. For my five tickets, it's going to take up more than half of that just to buy coffee. Uh. Is it worth it? I don't think I need it right now. I think I can sleep. just spend these right now though right like why hold on to them they're pretty big take up two slots massive coupons they're not even foldable they're so thick so stiff i don't know if i want the coffee because i'm just about to go sleep i think maybe i'm better off buying an army ration i don't know how big this is though looks kind of big Yeah, I think it's two by two. Yep. <laughs> Gaby's on my desk, one of my cats, and just meowing and rubbing stuff. She wants to be fed. Sorry, baby, not yet. Yes, you want to kill me? I'm very scared. Oh no, whatever will I do? I hope Laura's body isn't in here. Well, at least it's not down here. Seven. Hmm. It's gonna be a little bit tight. 
but I can sleep for an hour and still make it to bad grief, because I'm going to take the boat down here. Is it worth taking a painkiller when I'm going to sleep for so little time? I guess. I should have a dream, right? Yes. Whoa. Oh no, I'm back here. <laughs> I don't like it. It's the Tumblr human. It's a bad. It's a bad. Mm. Okay, it's kind of like really creepy in a lot of ways, but if you just look at the tiny little baby hooves and its tiny little arms, it's actually adorable. Like, if you just look at this, like that, that's adorable. That's not. Few words, no throat, hard to talk. What are you? No name. What are you made of? Of clay and bones. Are you the Shabnaka Dig? Listen to the words. Mother Boda wants to speak to you. Speak. All is connected. All is whole. Flesh and earth are the same. We are made of earth. Earth is soaked with blood. As we feed her, we create a... Hot cheer hole. Right? Hot cheer hell. Hot cheer hell. Hot cheer hell is strange things, right? Impossible things? I'm going to hot cheer I'll die. Sorry, this is really hard to read. Zyl you ve? Uh. What do I think the earth is creating? Sandpest? The Odong's herb brides? The ancient bulls? Man, this creature is so interesting looking. It looks just like the Tumblr human, but I guess it's not. Because it's not called Tumblr human. And it said it has no name. Look at those eyes. I love this game. This game is so fucking good. <sighs> what does the Earth create? The strange things. Aruks, the ancient bulls, Buha Noyon, as they were called. I can't get over those tiny little hooves. Uncomfortable. Where is this going? There's a bunch more of them. They're both creepy and cute. I sort of like it and I sort of don't. They've taken the place of all the Odongs and the Herb Brides, right? Like, there used to be, I think, three Herb Brides dancing here in clouds of plague. Want to ask? Do you want me to give you a voice? Give me a voice. I name you... Ushan. I name you Emshen. You can do much. You know how bodies are composed. How did Earth make you? 
The brides stomped her. The worms kneaded her. They helped earth. The brides? They awaken earth, caress it with touch. Herbs sprout. We appear. I see. So just as the herbs are created, these creatures are created too. All loops. The circle is complete. One turns into the other. All moves. Earth lives and creates strange things. The circulation of life's juices. <laughs> Shen. You don't need to croak. I'll give you a throat. I name you Aman. You are a wise doctor, Myas. I don't even know what those symbols are. Will you care for me? What's wrong with you? If you do your job, I will die. What? My job is to cure the sand pest. It's not a disease, it's pain. Earth's anguish. What you call the sand plague is an aspect of Earth. An agony, a scream, its voice, its medrel. Medrel? You mean the nerves? It can't be cut from the Earth. Means you can't cut it from us. So if I cure this disease, I'll hurt you? You know the answer. I don't believe it. It can't just all go away. You can't simply dissolve. The umbilical cord will stay, but what will flow through it? That's fine. You're not children anymore. Don't you care for this loss? We are the last of our kind. I, I do. You're unique. The sand pest is Earth's pain. It's not a disease. Well, how do I stop the Earth from being in pain? It's so quiet. Oh, I love that shadow. Is that? Is that Isidore? I think that's Isidore. Look at that. Hello, my son. Hello, father. You seem angry with me. Remember, as far as we know, they purposely released the plague. So, I am. All I ever wanted was for you to understand what happened here. How it all went. Why it was needed. Is it true that you were the one who unleashed the plague? Too strong a word.
You didn't stop it. You could have, like the first, but you didn't. Five years ago, I made a mistake. We never should have tried to hide from this disease. The town needed to survive it. Or not. So their mistake was to stop it in the first place. This is cruel. Yes. But why? If you survive a disease, you develop immunity. Our town was grown in a greenhouse. It's a homunculus, not particularly well adjusted to live on its own. We couldn't support it forever. Simon and I were growing old. The mistresses died. How would it fare without us? I don't understand. This town was connected wrong. Its parts were tied with artificial seams, so different, so awkward. One could say that Simon, the mistresses, and I held it all together by force. So I tore it apart, so you can sew it all back, better than before, because you're better and smarter than I am. Wasn't there a comparison early on in the game? I don't remember exactly who or what told me this, but wasn't there mention early on that this town is like a bone that set wrong? It needs to be broken and fixed so that it can heal properly? That seems to tie into what they're saying here. It's wrong. It's artificial the way it's connected. You think my line of fate is more precise than yours? All I wanted was for you to understand, not follow any particular fate. So you did it for me? Of course not. I did it for the town. It needed a vaccination. Besides, it wasn't up to me. What are you trying to say? I stopped trying to ladle out the sea and walked straight into it. I made everyone walk with me, too, teaching them to swim so they'll no longer hide behind sandcastle walls. You're saying horrible things. For the town, huh? What about all the victims? Were they not part of the town? The town needs to move forward, but it doesn't insist. Facing the future is the way of love. Facing the past is the way of love. But the two are incompatible, and it broke my heart. You're right. The future is better than the past. Tell me more about it. My list. Those children will build the new town, a better one. Just like the three families and their mistresses built it before. Just like Simon and I built it, reaching to the stars. We started it too quickly. We paid for our hastiness. What should I do now, father? Do what you must. Do what you think is right. If you still have time, try to understand the world as best you can. You won't make a mistake. I respect your choice, any choice. Like I said, you're better than me. You will connect us all into a new whole. This is a lot to take in. I So, they're saying that the, sa the town was wrong and we were all headed basically for a calamity anyway. Things were going to go wrong anyway because everything was falling apart and things were not connected right. And the people forcing it together, Simon and Isidore and the mistresses, they all were not there to help it anymore. So they forced it apart so that it could be rebuilt better. Okay. Was it really necessary to kill tens of thousands of people, though? To do that? Jesus. You'll connect us all into a new hole. 
I hope so. What just happened? Plague, monsters, and wonders are all connected. Kill one and the rest will suffer too. Is my goal worth the sacrifice? Right, kill the plague. Kill the children connected to the umbilical cord? Was that it? Kill the wonders. Kill the monsters. I've seen the kin's guts. I know now how to touch the apostates' hearts and convince them to come back. So, I should go to Tai Chik now? Father's inheritance was a question, not an answer. He never wanted me to become him. Only understand what he understood. I do now, and my choice will be mine. The list was because Father thought that that was the best way to reconnect everything, but it's not the only way, there's other ways. But that's what they thought was right, and I like that. I think that's what I'm going to follow for now, protecting the children. Well, I didn't actually sleep the full hour, so my exhaustion just kind of barely went down. But it's enough. It's enough. Oh, 